you can call it the art of fighting without fighting. Hi and welcome back to Kung Fu Shrimp. Before we get on with today's video, I just wanted to say a big thank you for the positive response my last video detailing Bruce's tank setup got. A lot of people seem to find it useful, so I plan on continuing the series with my next video focusing on tank mates, detailing what you can and cannot keep with a mantis shrimp. So keep your eyes open for that coming in the next few weeks. Of course, if you want to be sure not to miss out on any of Bruce's adventures, please hit that subscribe button, it really does mean a lot. It's now almost three years since I got Bruce, and for this video I wanted to do something special to celebrate. So on my recent trips to fish shops, I've been looking out for a treat. Unfortunately, there's not really been much other than your basic cleanup crew with the occasional small emerald crab, but nothing that really seemed to fit the bill. Then recently, on a trip to Kraken Corals, I noticed an odd shape at the back of one of their tanks, and on closer inspection discovered a decorator crab lurking. This was not something I'd even considered, however it was a good size, relatively cheap, so I thought what the hell and bought it. And so, without further ado, let's get on with the action. Bruce Decorator Crab. Round one. Fight! When I first introduced the crab, Bruce took immediate notice, and I thought it could be over quickly. He then decided to make me look a fool, and grabbed a snail from the entrance of his cave instead. After a while, it looked like the crab was going to take the fight to Bruce as he made his way towards the entrance of his lair. And as Bruce came out to meet him, I felt sure carnage was about to ensue. However, after a quick tussle and one very half-hearted strike, Bruce went back to doing some home renovations. And wisely, the crab decided to beat a hasty retreat. His retreat, however, only took him towards another of Bruce's entrances. Although this lunge clearly scared the crab, Bruce just didn't seem interested. At this point, it seemed like Bruce was more concerned with redesigning his home than engaging with the crab.
And so, after Bruce had come and had one final look and shown no interest, I decided to remove the decorator crab for the moment while I decided what to do next. Several days later. At this point, I thought either Bruce wasn't hungry or he was getting ready for a molt, as he often does a lot of layer construction around then. I kept a close eye on him over the next few days and there was no sign of him molting and he was eating normally, so I decided to give it another go. I also decided that this time I would not be removing the decorator crab and would let things play out whatever happened. So, let's see how it went. Final round. Fight. This time, as soon as I introduced the crab, Bruce is straight out to meet him. After a quick inspection, however, he seemed very unsure whether he was food or not. At this point, I decided to add some brine shrimp to see if it would help trigger a feeding response. This worked, however all it did was trigger Bruce to start chasing brine shrimp. What this proved, however, was Bruce was definitely hungry, as he only does this when he's feeling peckish. After clearing out the brine shrimp, Bruce was obviously still hungry, as it didn't take him long to come and check out the crab again. At which point, what I can only describe as a wrestling match ensued. I would definitely say Bruce won the fight with a clear pin. However, at no point did he make a strike against the crab. At this point, it seemed pretty clear that whatever Bruce thought the crab was, he did not seem to see it as food. He did come and take several more looks at the crab as it slowly made its way across the tank but he never looked like he was going to attack.
So, although I never would have predicted it, I may have found a crab that can live alongside a mantis shrimp. I eventually took pity on a clearly hungry Bruce and gave him a mussel, which he had no problem figuring out was food. So, this video didn't turn out how I expected, however I did find it fascinating to see that mantis shrimp are not always the psychotic killers they're made out to be. It's now been almost a month since this footage was shot, and although I still expect to see a smashed up crab on the bottom of the tank every morning, so far they are living together quite happily. I'll be keeping my eyes open for a treat for Bruce in the coming weeks, as I still want to do something special for his anniversary, and I also want to give you guys the battle royale this was supposed to be. So, be sure to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out, and as always, thanks for watching!